Hi everyone! I'm here to show you how Payroll Hero works for your HRIS or the Human Resource Information System. So as an HR, when you log into Payroll Hero, the first thing that you will notice is the menu tabs. If you're just a regular employee, the only tabs that you would see is the dashboard and the mic lock. But if, you're, if you have an HR access, um, you will notice that there's the analytics page, the flag wall, employees tab, and the payrolls tab. Most of the functions that uh, you use for HR is under the employees tab. On the employees tab, this is where you can add new employees. This is where you could view um, the employee list for all the employee profiles, as well as where you could resolve attendance and um, create schedules or update schedules. On the employee list, this is where you would see all the employee profiles. The employee profiles is kind of like a 201 file wherein you could store all the requirements of the employees like um, their resumes, a copy of their birth certificate, a copy of their NBI clearance, um, as well as here's on the employee pro profiles is where you could edit um, their employee info their salaries, their schedules, as well as generate payroll. If we edit an employee profile, this is basically where we can update their master photo. The master photo is used as a basis for your clock in and clock out picks. This is to ensure that you are the one who's clocking in and clocking out correctly on the system. If you don't have master photos, the system wouldn't know that it's you who's clocking in or clocking out. Other than that, um, this is also where you could update their uh, emails, usernames, as well as um, their system permissions if it's just going to be a regular employee or um, a specific uh, system permission like uh, an HR or a payroll admin. So after editing the employee profile, the next thing that you can do is to set up the employee's requirements. Let's say they submitted their uh, resumes. What an HR can do is just scan that resume, log into their uh, payroll hero accounts, go to the employee profile, and basically just click on the requirements here and upload the scanned uh, file. So once you have uploaded the file, it would show up as a complete uh, requirement. That's how you upload the requirement. Now if an employee checks on that requirement, they would notice that there's the X mark, or there's the check mark already. Now if we revoke that requirement, uh, not confirmed, it is also marked as X. So if you want to update a requirement, you can easily do that by editing the requirement, uploading the new file, and that's it. Another function that HR could use is the curing. So curings are basically what you have given to the employee, like um, like a company car, a company phone, an email. So the main function of the queuing is to provide you with a running checklist of items that you have given or you would like to revoke from that employee during the course of their employment. So another HR function is the documents. So under the documents, this is where you can um, download the employee's certificates of employment, certificates of contributions for the SSS, PhilHealth, and Pag-ibig, um, as well as the different forms for different government agencies. So a sample here is for an employment. 
So if I download an employee, uh, an employee's COE, so the system automatically creates a template of um, your employment letter, which we can easily customize as well as the employee certificates of contribution. So that's how easy it is to manage your HR functions using Payroll Hero. If you have any questions, contact us at support at payrollhero.com. Thanks for watching.